All right, uh, gas X. So we don't know what this gas is, but it's found to be 24% carbon and 76% fluorine by mass. So we did some uh, percentage uh, composition, and we're going to take that data and determine the empirical formula of this unknown gas. So empirical formula, smallest whole number. Okay, smallest whole number ratio. You guys remember the first step? We have to assume a 100 gram sample. First step. So what I have here is 24.0 grams of carbon, which I will convert okay, into moles of carbon because the grams will cancel right there. And then I will do the same thing with fluorine, 76.0 grams of fluorine. I'll convert that, grams of fluorine, one mole of fluorine. Let me take a peek at my periodic table. 18.99 grams of fluorine per one mole of fluorine. Uh, grams will cancel, so all I have to do is do some calculator work. So uh, start with carbon, 24.0 divided by 12.01. I have 1.998. That's too many significant figures because uh, this only has three over here. <coughs> so you can see that this would round to, <coughs> this would have to be two. <coughs> uh, let's do the same thing for fluorine. We've got 76.0. Divided by 18.99, and we're going to get, again, going with the correct number of significant figures, uh, three significant figures. That's going to be 4.00. 0. So the empirical formula here, just by looking at this, uh, is going to be, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I skipped a step. My bad. So these are the mole values. These are moles of carbon. A and for those of you at home, I hope you realize that. I missed <laughs> that I wasn't done because I didn't have the units written down. And if I would have seen that these r units are not what I'm what I'm wanting at the end, I was like, oh yeah, I have one more step. But I didn't do that, and I messed up in front of all of you, and I'm really really embarrassed. If you could see me, my face is red. So I still have to take the smallest of these mole values and divide all the mole values by that. So this equals one. Over here we got two. So the ratio of carbon. The fluorine is 1 to 2. <coughs> CF2. We're going to be given that the molar mass of gas X, because we still don't know what the molecular formula is. We do have the empirical formula. Um, <coughs> but given that the molar mass of the gas is uh, 200.04 grams per mole, determine its molecular formula. Well, I need to compare the mass of my empirical formula and this molecular formula that the problem has given me. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate the mass of this empirical formula. Time for some calculator work. For nine point nine nine. I'll go ahead and keep all of those significant figures since uh, both of those uh, terms had four significant figures. So that'll be cool. Now, <coughs> the molar mass of the actual molecule is 200.04 grams per mole. The mass of the empirical formula is 49.99 grams per mole. And I hope you realize that these units will cancel out because when you divide, something by itself, right, we're dividing grams per mole by grams per mole, they go away. So all that's left to do is carry out this calculation. So go 200.04 divided by <coughs> 49.99. We come up with, <coughs> uh, with four significant figures. Uh, that would be 4.002, no units. And I hope you guys see that, that 4.002, that's two thousandths. And what I've been trying to get across to you guys in class is that if we were to have infinite significant figures, this would end up being just four, four. And what that would tell me to do is take this four and multiply 
the subscripts of the empirical formula by 4. So that would end up with C4 F8. And it's as simple as that.